Hey, you still mad at me? I was messing with your turkey girls. Huh? No. Oh, girl, you tell that story, Betty White. You tell it. Hey, guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. Terry here with you. We're doing a ton of chores today here with red nails. How is that farmly possible? <laughs> so this is kind of a dorky video in my opinion because I didn't think that I would do uh, a video about my nails, but a lot of you ladies out there are asking what, how am I doing this and how am I keeping my polish on and blah, 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 blah. And I have, you know, listen, even Turkey 2 has something to say about it. So I thought it'd be a fun video to talk about because, you know, we like to talk about farm and homesteading and things and change and life and all that here on our channel. And ladies, it's just like this. Never say never and never be nailed down to any one way or train of thought because you change, life changes, things change, things improve. And you know what? I'm telling you right now, girlfriend, you go treat yourself. You do so. Co, you need a spa day with me. Your every day is a spa day with Cochise. It's every day. Yes. So, I just got done cleaning out the rabbit cage, taking out the nesting box. So, to answer your questions, how did I get these nails? And by the way, yes, I did just band six goats, changed all the... Uh, nesting boxes and cleaned out my quail some and checked on Miss Blanche and she is still broody to the max on those eggs and threw a bucket of threw a bunch of buckets of waters around and uh hey so can you do that sort of thing and have nice nails or decent hair or whatever why shoot you so here's the bottom line I don't care what age you are I don't care if you're 19 if you're 28 32 almost 40 going on 45 63 or 89. Ladies, you need to do what works best for you, your family, your farm, and what makes you feel good. You know, for a very long time, I had to go because of my previous life as a television show host. I know if you didn't know that, you know that now. Uh, for many, many years, nails were like, I had to have nice nails because that was part of my job requirement as being a television show host. I moved kind of away from that and went to graduate gemology, which meant I had more natural nails. Didn't have the pressure of having to look constantly perfect, which is, is, is impossible. But that pressure was gone. And then I've entered into this lifestyle with homeschooling and with my kids and, and homesteading and goats and, you know, banding things and all that type stuff. You know, nails aren't a requirement. Makeup's not a requirement. And there's a lot of freedom with this lifestyle because you know why? We can pick and choose more in terms of what we want to be and to reflect back to you or to anyone else out there, really, who we are. So if you really want to blame anybody about the nail situation, you can take it up with Miss Lou, my elder, my mama Kamama. She has her nails done and she, does, she actually has gotten to the point where she does her own nails. Now she does, I think they're gel an overlay and she told me this is last year she bought me a whole kit the, the lighting doodad thing and all that she was like i want you to have pretty nails you have all these pretty videos you, and you're so pretty you should have pretty nails i was like it's not about not wanting nails it's about time and it's also about would i be able to keep them So this is truly what happened. So Miss Lou got me all of this cool stuff and showed me how to do it and wrote down the directions and all this stuff and time and last year and moving. I just never did it. Well, then last fall, my Aunt Judy, we lost her to cancer. And the, week, the weekend before she passed, we all went to go visit her daily. And we're, you know, doing what a lot of people do when you have that type of situation, going to visit, take food help out family, family members, da, 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 da. And I pulled up into her house. And I was even in, I was in my overalls, honey. And I pulled up and the nurse was outside. 
and I got out and it was a beautiful day and I got out and I was starting to talk to her so I wasn't paying attention and I slammed the door on my car and I completely <laughs> shut my right thumb in the car door. Well, I thought I had completely broken my thumb. It's one of those moments where you injure yourself and you're not even, it's like the, the sensation of wanting to, pardon me to tell you this, to vomit takes over so strong <laughs> that you don't even realize anything else is going on, the blood, the mess and everything else. I did not break my thumb, but I really injured it. There was a lot of blood and it took me several, several weeks to get over. And long story short, my thumb, which is my, actually my other one, cause I'm holding this, started, was injured way down here below the nail bed area. And as it grew out, it was lifting forward. You can actually see it on my Facebook videos. You can see it on a couple of videos here. And all of you out there were like, what is wrong with your nail? Patera, do you have a nail fungus? <laughs> Well, I didn't, but what I had tried to do was keep it clipped where I could and then glue it down as it grew out. And I'm going to tell you, Gorilla Glue didn't do anything for that hot mess. So finally, I had Lou look at it, and she is a registered nurse. And she said, you're going to have to clip it all the way down from the top, clip it, have somebody clip it all the way from the bottom. We need to keep an eye on it, and they're probably going to have to do it down. And we've got to put something on it so that you don't tear it off because actually I got it caught in a chain of the fence and it was about to lift forward and tear off from the meat of the top. That's a no win situation right there, folks. So I went to a specialist. I had it fixed and they put an overlay. My nail started to grow out and I do have a recovered nail finally over six, what, six months later. But you know what? I discovered something. The reality is is, you know, I don't do a lot of things. I don't go on girl weekends. We don't go on vacations. I don't, I've had two haircuts in the last year and that was a record. <laughs> I don't do a lot of girl stuff for myself because we're just so busy. I don't feel deprived, but I just don't go and do a lot of stuff. So I went and I had to go a couple of times and every time I went, I enjoyed it so much because about every two, two and a half weeks, I take an afternoon where I take my boys for events or things they have to go to on a certain time. You know, and I'll go to the Costco or the grocery store or something. But I carve out about an hour. Sometimes it's just 40 or 45 minutes where I get to sit. And I get to sit still. And I get to be pampered a little bit. And you know what? Just because we homestead or just because we have a bunch of kids running around or just because we might be a little bit older, doesn't mean we don't deserve to be pampered a little and to feel pretty. So what you're seeing right here, what I chose to do is what, actually my mom does this too. Um, I do the, um, I'm telling you folks, I'm rough as a cob, look at that, look at that. This is the, the dip, where they dip it in the powder. And I try to keep it short. I really don't like to go any longer than what you're seeing right there. So that is actually my nail. I do not have any tips. They tried to put a tip on the one that I injured, which is actually this one. And um, we're out of focus. Uh, this one right here. But you can see that it... Um, healed really nicely and it's not odd anymore but I said no let's just keep them super short and look at, I'm, I'm matching my turkey so it's the dip now there's gel there's dip there's all kinds of different things I haven't really gotten too crazy I've done a, a, a wild design or two because they were fun but I keep them very short and I keep them thin so I don't do thick layers so you can see right there I don't do a thick layer because I had one time a thick layer and I didn't like it because as it grew out it looked like there was a big old fat marshmallow sitting on my finger, and I didn't like that. So my point is, this is a new method for me that has been working for six months, and it's done a great job. I've never broken one. Actually, that is not true. That is not true. I did break one tip at one time, and it had nothing to do with barn work. I was picking up laundry off the floor, and I wasn't paying attention. So see, had nothing to do with farm. 
but the color stays on good. I get a lot of compliments. Really, I like to go every two weeks or so and just sit, like I said, you know, sip on a Coke or, you know, whatever you prefer and just let them do their thing and just relax. It's a treat and you deserve it. Doesn't matter what lifestyle you lead. It doesn't matter what other people say you should or shouldn't be. Whatever, we're past all that. We're gonna be who we are and you need to be who you are. So that's the story on my nails. And it's fun because you know why? When I go, every time I go, I'm like, what color am I gonna do this time? What design can we do this time? It just, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> So this video didn't teach you do die diddly squat. It's just me in the barn talking about pretty nails and girls, guys too, find your thing. You deserve it. More videos coming up. All of my cabinets on the bottom and my drawers are yanked out right now. They have been fully sanded and cleaned and we're finishing those up tonight because they're fully being painted tomorrow. They're being sprayed, baby. Woo! So looking forward to getting that behind us getting back to being in the kitchen with you. All right, guys, this was fun. <laughs> kind of silly, but hey, you're asking. So I'm telling you, treat yourself. You deserve it. We'll see you on the next video.